What's going on, beautiful people of the internet? Today, we're gonna have a video of Assassin's Creed while I tell a story. That's okay with you? Okay? Okay. This story is about my first ever gaming tournament experience. Okay. So, a few years back when Call of Duty Ghosts was the prime, you know, and that was the shiznit, okay? Everyone wanted to play that, and now everyone hates it. But around that time, I was playing quite a bit. I got pretty good at it. And uh, one day, my dad's like, you know what? Do you, do you want to sign up for a tournament? You know, little nerdy me was like, sure, why not? Let's go get it. And this type of tournament wasn't like an online tournament. It was like a LAN event. For my non-nerdy viewers, a uh, LAN tournament is not like an online tournament. What it is is you go to like a location and they have like, a TVs and stuff set up and then you just play there. So we get to this place and uh, where the tournament was set up, it was in the back of like a movie store, okay? Really ghetto setup. Not, not taking away people from the ghetto, okay? Just get him set up. Don't hurt me. Uh, my cousin went too. And he did not participate because he did not want to. And he, he's not really into video games. But anyway, that's not important. That's not what the story is completely about. As I was saying, we get there and it's legit like a movie store. Okay, we're in the back of a movie store. We're playing. You know, I played a few games. And in my age group, there was like there was two different brackets. There was one for uh, an age group between 8 and 15 or 16, I believe. And the other bracket was like 17 plus. Okay, it, there, there was no limit after that. I was obviously in the first bracket because it was a few years back. I was about 13, I think. Maybe 12. Maybe I was 12. I don't know. I just know it was a few years back. One thing about this tournament is it was on Xbox, and I am a PlayStation player. I hate the feel of the Xbox controllers. I think the Xbox controllers feel gross. Everyone thinks they're better, but I don't know. I'm just so used to the PlayStation controllers, I think they feel disgusting. So that's my personal preference. I obviously do not play Xbox. I'm like the only kid here that plays PlayStation. I participate, I win a few games, you know. So I end up beating a lot of kids in my age group. I actually would have won the tournament if the two different brackets stayed the same. The reason why I didn't win for my age group is because they ended up having to uh, combine the age groups because there wasn't enough people in the uh, second one. I won them for my age group and made some money, but I didn't because they had to combine the brackets. And there was a 17 year old kid that plays Xbox. And he was really good. He even flat out told my dad that if uh, I was an Xbox player, he definitely would have lost to me. So, you know, whatever. That made me feel pretty good on the inside. Whatever. Which, it, it does kind of suck, though, because I would have loved to win some money from, like, gaming. But, whatever. I still got to participate. That was still a lot of fun. I would definitely do it again. But remember this one kid. Oh, my God. This kid. You know what he looked like? You ever seen the Pokemon Go kid? It, he legit looked just like him. So after I beat this kid, my dad told me to shake his hand. I kept trying to shake his hand and kept trying to hammer the controller, dude. I'm like, what are you doing? Do you want to know what this Pokemon Go kid was doing? He was playing against another kid that was around his age. My dad and I are just watching him, and this kid's legit just falling out of his chair trying to scream peek. It's so bad. He's literally leaning back like four feet out of his chair, looking over, trying to see this other kid's TV to figure out where he was. It was so bad. It was so funny, but it was so bad. Even though he tried cheating, he still lost, so, you know. Another funny thing that happened at this tournament... My cousin, alright, he had to use the bathroom. He drank a lot of fluids, you know, sometimes you gotta go, you gotta go. I don't know how many of you have ever been to a movie store, but if you go into the back, there's like a, let's just say not child appropriate movies, okay? The room we were in was literally right next to that, but there was like a curtain covering all those. My cousin asked the lady that was like in charge of the brackets where was the bathroom, and she literally told him, walk out the door and go to your left. He did that? No. No, 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 no. He walked right into the naughty movie section, okay. Thought that was kind of funny. To continue the story though, I beat everyone in my bracket, okay. I, I won my bracket. If that was that, I would have won a bunch of money. I would have won a few, like $100 or something like that, and I would have just left, okay. But no, there wasn't enough people in the other bracket, so I go in the other bracket. I made it about halfway through, and I just get smacked. I just get smacked. This the 17 year old just went ham sandwich on me. Whatever though, like I was saying, it was pretty fun. It was pretty cool. I would definitely go to a land tournament again for Call of Duty. A part that I forgot to mention, after this kid just smacked me, we were allowed to buy back in, which is like another 20 bucks. He smacked me two more times in a row. Actually, no, they were pretty close, but I ended up losing anyway. Still took that L. If he was on PlayStation though, I definitely, ooh, easily, easily would have been smushed on him. Okay. That's alright though, because afterwards my dad took me to Taco Bell, and I got like three Dorito tacos or whatever they were. Ended up getting car sick on the ride home because of that, but you know, whatever. Life was good. <laughs> uh, that's pretty much the story to be honest. It's a stupid little LAN event that I went to. One thing I forgot to mention is I think I'm going to do like a shout out type system on my channel now. And the way I'm going to do that is if you add me on Instagram, post like pictures of like saying when the video's up. 
And what I'm gonna do is anybody who likes the photo has a chance for a shout out. And I'll take a screenshot of their account and I'll put it up on my next video. And I'm just gonna keep doing that every video now. We'll see how that works out. I mean, they're not gonna get like a huge like follower boost. Okay, this guy's getting really annoying. I'm just gonna drop him right here. All right, see ya. That was pretty much my story and my new Instagram thing, okay? Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Like all the cool kids on the block. Peace out.